Hey guys, I'm in here back with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube icon of your Roblox character just like this. So to make this, you just need to have three apps, Roblox Studio, Blender and Paint.net. So Blender and Paint.net are two free softwares that you can get on the internet. So to download Blender, just go to blender.org and to download Paint.net, just go to Paint.net download. So First of all, just go to Roblox Studio, open up Roblox Studio, so once you're on base plate, it should look a little bit like this, so it's just a blank base plate, nothing too special. So now once you have the base plate, you need to go to plugins. And then you should uh, you need to download something called load character. So to download this, just go to manage plugins. Then click on find plugins. And then download one called load character by already pro. It should be on the first or second one. But if you don't find it, just search up load character by already pro. So now once you have done this, just click on close tab. Then you just click on load character and then type in the username. So I've already made an icon for my character. So I'm just going to be making an icon for my alt account. So I'm just going to enter in the username. Okay, then I'm going to click on spawn R15. So clicking on spawn R15 is better because then it will make your character more flexible and it'll look a lot better just in general but if your avatar looks better in r6 go right ahead it's all the same let's click on x now so now once you have, you have a character just click on workspace expand workspace then once you when you find your username just right click and export selection then click where you want to save it so I have a special folder called Blender stuff. So then just select the name and then save it as an .obj and that's probably the default option. Then just click save. So then you can either just close out Roblox Studio or just minimize it. So I'm just going to minimize Roblox Studio. So then go just go to Blender. So now once you're in Blender you will get a cube like this and to remove this cube just click on delete and click delete two times then to get your character in blender just click on file import and wavefront.obj then just then just select the location of where you have saved your character so to get the if you don't know where your location is you can just go ahead and search it like i'm just gonna search it and then once you find it you will either find an mtl or an obj file then right click and click copy full path so then once you have your full path just select all of it and click ctrl v then you should get this click enter and then you should get this so you need to click on the obj one and just click import obj so if your character doesn't load in if you don't see anything don't panic just zoom out once you zoom out you should find your character in the distance then just bring your character anyway, anywhere on this grid. I'm just gonna bring it here. Then just click this plus icon and expand it. Then just click on shading, textured solid, ambient concussion, occlusion, sample, motion blur. And then click expand shading and change the alpha sky to alpha transparent. Choose the render presets as HDTV. 1080p click this earth icon then just click ambient occlusion environment lighting and indirect lighting so now basically all of this is just done then just click view camera and then you should get a table like this so then to move around just click shift plus f and this allows you to uh, use WASD to move around so just get a good angle, good angle of your character. So I think this is good enough. 
I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more. I'm just gonna go here. Okay, so now once you find a good angle for your character, just click enter. And then once you have this, go back to the camera icon and click red. So now, once you get this, just click on image, save as image, and then just choose where you want to save your uh, character or your picture. So I'm just going to select my file folder. So enter, then I'm just going to save it as lag.png. Then I'm gonna click save image. So now once you get this, you can either just close out Blender or just minimize it. I'm just gonna minimize it. Then click paint.net. So now once you're on paint.net, you need to click on this page icon and just select the ratio to 500 width and 500 height. Click OK. Then you should get this small page. Just click maximize like three times to get it to 300%. So now once you have this, just click add layer. And then you should get layer two. Then just select where you have your, so just go to, so go to where you save your picture. So I'm just gonna like, so I found my picture and then you just click right. Just right click it, click copy, go over to paint.net and just click control V. So then you just need to click keep canvas size. And then you should you just need to do this. So this will be like really big and not correctly proportioned. Just scale it down. And just bring it down to the correct uh, width of the page. So I'm just gonna try to do that right now. So just try and make it like what it would look like. So just make it according to your preferences. Just make the height and the width a bit larger like, like so. So now once you've done this, click enter. And for the background, I recommend using a gradient background. So one way to get a gradient background is just clicking gradient. Selecting your color, so I'm just gonna click, uh, select gray because my character is like black and it suits it. And then just drag over and you'll get a gradient background like this. So this is a pretty good gradient, but if you don't want this gradient, just go to Google Chrome and then just search gradient background images. And then you can just get your favorite image. Just right click it and click copy image. And go to paint.net. And click Control V. So you need to click Control V on the background and not on layer two, because that will just mess it up. Then just scroll it down to where you want it, like this. So once you have your background set, I'm just gonna use this this gradient background. Okay, so now once you have your background set, just click Enter. So you need to outline your avatar. So the way you do it is go to Effects object and drop shadow so you won't have this probably you won't probably have this so because this is a plugin so to download this plugin you need to like go to a website and then you need to download the plugin so i'll leave a link to the video that shows you how to download that so i'm just going to keep my outline as white and i'm going to keep my blur radius to zero and keep my widening radius to 15 or I'll just yeah I'll keep it till 8 okay 7 so then you click OK and then you should have a pretty good outline then now once you have this just go to Google Chrome and search particles images and then just select any particle you want and make sure the background is black. So I'll just select this. So then just right click, copy image, go
go to paint.net click this add layer again then just click ctrl v keep canvas size and then just select the particles that you want on your characters i'm just gonna keep it like this then double click this and click the blending mode to screen so it should look like this so this is how you make the particles on your character click enter then to save this just click on file save as and then enter the name so I'm just gonna keep it as lag again I'm gonna say you need to save it as PNG as a .png file then you need to select where you want to save your item or your picture then just I'm then just then you should get this and just click yes click OK just click on auto detect because that's the best click OK click flatten then it should save so that's basically how you get a good profile picture for your YouTube so this is how you make your profile picture I'm gonna show you the one that I made for my character so This is the one I made for my character. I think this one looks really good. I think these two look really awesome. And that's basically what you need to do to get a good Roblox icon. Good YouTube icon for Roblox. So, that's it for today's video. Like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video.